This is a case shared by Dr. Masood Mergurbani from Tehran, Iran. This is a case about a 15-year-old male patient who had moderate vitreitis after cataract surgery performed two months ago. The cataract developed within a short period of two months, and the patient underwent surgery without any additional investigation into the underlying cause of cataract formation. Based on evidence of pigmentation, siderosis was suspected, and a CT scan revealed an image suggestive of an intraocular foreign body, therefore, the patient was scheduled for vitrectomy and removal of the intraocular foreign body using iris shelf technique. During the initial stages of the surgery, the intraocular lens was removed from the capsular bag. Signs of siderosis were observed in the IOL haptics. The single-piece intraocular lens was then placed above the iris, and trocars were inserted to perform PAR's plan of vitrectomy. Initially, the pigmented core vitreous was removed. Detachment of the posterior hyaloid can be a challenging step in vitrectomies involving young patients. To facilitate PVD induction maneuver, the surgeon used triamcinolone to stain the vitreous. Three hundred and sixty degrees scleral indentation was made, and the intraocular foreign body was found attached in the vitreous base supratemporally in the periphery. A perfluorocarbon liquid bubble was placed in the posterior pole to protect the macula, and the intraocular foreign body was released from the vitreous base. The iris shelf technique involves removing a posterior segment intraocular foreign body through a corneal incision. Therefore, a posterior capsulotomy was performed using the vitrectomy probe. The surgeon uses a retinal forceps to carefully grasp the foreign body and bring it into the anterior chamber through the posterior capsulotomy. Subsequently, the intraocular foreign body was removed from the anterior chamber through the corneal incision. The surgeon decided to reimplant the same single piece IOL into the capsular bag. Finally, endolaser treatment was performed in the area where the intraocular foreign body was attached, the vitreous base was reviewed and the surgery concluded after fluid air exchange. <laughs>